Uh, when Joseph first started, there weren't really many teachers or mentors that could show him the way, and he's really learned how to do it himself. He's uh, self-taught, and he has tried to learn from those he could and from the masters of the past and created uh, really his own identity as an artist. You can't spend five minutes with Joseph without getting a sense of his passion for art. He, um, he loves the pursuit of beauty, the pursuit of truth in his art, and he has spent um, a large part of his career helping others develop their skills as artists. I really admire that in him. It's hard as an artist to not be a little bit selfish with your time because you only have so many hours in the day and there's only so many paintings that you get to do in your life for sculptures. And yet Joseph commits a large part of his time in helping others uh, pursue beauty and develop their skills. And uh, he, he deserves to be recognized for that. Joseph is deserving of this award because he's probably accomplished more at this, like his midlife, than a lot of people will in their entire life. And a great example of that would be the mural that's commonly known as the mural lately, 50 feet long by 20 feet tall, and composed in one point perspective in a round circular space that's coordinating with architecture and sculpture groups in a site that he put that composition into, specifically the Italian landscape. In my expertise in art history, I've never heard of, let alone seen, anything like that, from antiquity to contemporary. That's really astounding. Um, and he's still 45. He's, <laughs> he's barely started. If you take all the artists, skilled artists in the world, and you select from them the artists that can make multifigural paintings. You know, you've, you've eliminated many. And then you select who can make a multifigural painting that's also narrative and communicates an idea. You've selected fewer. Then you say, who can paint a multifigural painting or, or sculpt a multifigural sculpture that's narrative that's also historically accurate? That's even more difficult. On top of that, you have something that is multifigural, narrative, historical, and allegorical that speaks to the human spirit and raises the, the collective consciousness of society. And you're down to a handful of artists, and Joseph is one of those. Congratulations, Joseph. I'm proud of you. I love you. Joseph, congratulations on your recognition. I love you. I'm grateful to have known you for so many years. Uh, you've had a wonderful impact on my life. I know you have, will have a wonderful impact on so many more people um, as a teacher and as a friend as an, and as an artist. I'm proud of you. I'm proud to know you. Congratulations. Thank you, Joseph, for, for everything that you do, for everything that you are, and for sharing that with the world. It really means a lot as an artist to have somebody of your caliber in the world, let alone working as closely as we do. So I really appreciate that about you. And I look forward to the rest of your career and this is gonna be a great milestone for you. But I know that you are planning even bigger and better things that you're gonna outdo yourself in the years to come. So congratulations. Joseph, congratulations. Um, you are an underappreciated artist and person. And so hopefully this goes a little bit toward that greater appreciation of you and your work.